Let us proceed with the last method, which is the Gauss-Jordan elimination method. Let us have the history first. Gauss-Jordan elimination method was discovered, or the proponent of this method is Frederick Gauss. And this sub-method wherein he used explicit way of solving the unknown variable for system of linear equations. And that is through matrix. Okay? Gauss-Jordan elimination method from augmented, you will reduce, um, you will change it into reduced row echelon form. The reduced row echelon form is new matrix applying the row operations. You will achieve the reduced row echelon form applying the row operations. And there are three rules for row operations. We have first, any two rows in the augmented matrix or A sub M may be interchanged. Second, any row may be multiplied by a non zero constant. Third, a constant multiple of a row may be added or subtracted to another row. So in order for you to understand better, better later, we will apply this. Okay, so this is the, the augmented matrix in the form A sub 1 to A sub 3 for X, B sub 1 to B sub 3 for Y, column C sub 1 to C sub 3 for Z, and column D sub 1 to B sub 3 for our constant matrix. Our target is to make it or transform it into reduced row echelon form Diagonal equal to 1, the rest is equal to 0. And the result will be our x, y, and z. This is another term for this is identity matrix. Identity matrix is a matrix wherein the diagonal is equal to 1, then the rest is equal to 0. We have to change this augmented form to this one in order for us to solve x, y, and z. First, let us change these three equations into augmented form. 2x plus y minus z, that will become 2x plus y minus z, or negative 1. Copy the numerical coefficient. Then we have 1. Then 3, 2, 2, 13, 4, negative 2, 3, and 9. So this is our row 1. This is our row 2. And this is our row 3. We will have row operation. Don't mind the column because this is row operation, not column operation, okay? We will apply the three rows. First step is let us have, let us make, our task is to make this equal to 1, then the rest equal to 0. And, and the value here, achieving the identity matrix will be our values of x, y, and z. So let us use... 2R1 minus R3 is equal to R3. Retain R3. Ah, uh, change R3 because we, we have equals R3. Therefore, change R3. Therefore, retain R1 and R2. R1, 2, 1, negative 1, 1, 3, 2, 2, 13. Our R3 will become, applying the formula 2R1 minus R3, 2 times this row 1 minus row 3 and change it to row 3. 2 times 2, 4 minus 4 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2 minus negative 2 is positive 4. Then 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 3 is positive. Um, negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. Then we have um, 2 times 1 is 2 minus 9 is negative 7. 2 times 1, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 minus 3. This should be negative 5. Sorry for this. Now, we have achieved this equal to 0. Next, let us make this equal to 1 by interchanging using the first rule any two rows in the augmented matrix may be interchanged. Let us interchange row 1 and row 3. Okay, let us interchange row 1 and row 3. So, row 1 will be, row 3 will become row 1. Uh, let us interchange rather row 1 and row 2. So, row 2 will become row 1. We have 3, 2, 2, negative, uh, 3, 2, 2, 13. We have 3, 2, 2, 13. And 2, 1, negative 1, 1 will become row 2. 
2, 1, negative 1, 1 is rho 2, and copy, 0, 4, negative 5, and negative 7. So, we have here already 0, okay? Now, let us, uh, uh, after interchanging R1 and R2, our middle term now is 1. The process of making this equal to 1 and the rest equal to 0 is pivoting or pivoting. Pivoting is the process where in the augmented matrix, you are going to, your, your, your goal is to make the augmented matrix item or pivot item equal to 1 and the rest equal to 0. And we have achieved this also. This is now equal to 1 by interchanging row 1 and row 2. Now, let us have another one. Let us subtract row 1 and row 2 to make this equal to 1. Because 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Okay? So, we have row 1 minus row 2 is equal to row 1. So, meaning to say, we will change row 1. Therefore, row 3 and row 2 will be retained or remain. 2, 1, negative 1, 1, 0, 4, negative 5, negative 7. Now, we have here, row 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 minus negative 1 is 3, and 13 minus 1 is 12. Our goal is to make this equal to 1. Now, let us have another one. Let us make this equal to 0. Therefore, we have formula. We have this is a trial and error method, okay, or process. And you may encounter error or mistake. It's okay. Because this is a trial and error method. And we have 2R1. Minus R2 is equal to R2. You will think of ways on how to make this equal to 0, okay, or equal to 1. We will change row 2, therefore copy row 1 and row 3. We have row 1, 1, 1, 3, 12. Okay? We have 0, 4, negative 5, and negative 7. 2 times row 1, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 2 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6, minus negative 1 is 7. 2 times 12 is 24 minus 1 is 23. Now, let us make this equal to 0. We have 4 R1 minus, uh, let us have 4 R2 minus, R3 is equal to R3. Therefore, we have to retain row 1 and row 2. 1, 0, 1. 1, 3, 7, 12, and 23. 4 times row 2. 4 times 0 is 0. Minus 0 is 0. 4 times 1 is 4. Minus 4 is 0. 4 times 7 is 28, minus 5 is 23. Ah, minus negative 5, again, 4 times 7 is 28, minus negative 5 is 33. 4 times 23 is, we have 3, 6, 9, 12. 92 
minus negative 7 is 99. Then, let us apply any row may be multiplied by an unconstant 0. Let us multiply row 3 by 1 over 33 times row 3 is equal to row 3. Therefore, copy row 1 and row 2. We have 1, 1, 3, 12, 0, 1, 7, and 23. So we have changed this already equal to 1. We have changed this already equal to 0. We have changed this already equal to 1. Okay. 0, 1 third times 0 is 0. Therefore, 0. 1, I'm sorry, not 1 third, 1 third, 1 over 33. 1 over 33 times 0 is 0. 1 over 33 times 33 is 1. 1 over 33 times 99, that will become 99 divided by 33, that will become equal to 1. Uh, 99 divided by 33 is 3. Now, let us make this equal to equal to 0 by the formula R1 minus R2 is equal to R1. Therefore, retain R2, 0, 1, 7, 23, and R3, 0, 0, 1, 3. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. 12 minus 23 is negative 11. Next, our next task is to make this equal to zero to do that we have um 4 r3 plus r1 is equal to r1 therefore we have copy r2 and r3 we have 0 1 0 0 1 3 Therefore, we have 4 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 4 times, 4 times 0 is 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 times 1 is 4 or 3. 4 times 1 is 4 plus negative 4 is 0. Then, 4 times 3 is 12 plus negative 11 is positive 1. We have achieved this already. Last one. To make this equal to 0, we have 7R3 minus R2 is equal to R2. Therefore, we have copy R1, 100, 0, 0, 1, and R3, 0, 0, 1, 3. Okay. 7 times 0 is 0 minus 0 is 0. 7 times 0, um, I think we have to change it. Negative 7R plus, negative 7R3 plus R2. Because it, if we will have 7R3 plus ma minus R2, it will become negative 1. Therefore, let us have negative 7R3 plus R2. Negative 7 times 0 is 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 7 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 7 times 1 is negative 7 plus 7 is 0. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21 plus 23 is positive 2. Now, we're done. The question is, have we changed the augmented matrix into rho echelon form or identity matrix? Yes, we achieved 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 using rho operations. And the value that we found applying this is this one. One, two, three.
And like what I have said a while ago, if you will achieve this, the final answer that you will take here are the values of x, y, z. And the value of x is equal to 1, the value of y is equal to 2, the value of z is equal to 3. Therefore, quadrat demonstrandum applying the four methods we found the unknown variable or the system of the linear equations. Um, we're done with the four methods. Substitution method and elimination method that you are very familiar with this. And the last two, Gauss-Jordan method and Kramer's rule method. I hope that you learned something today. Atandaan nyo, there are many ways to solve something in mathematics. There are many procedures. So try to be aware. Mathematics is everywhere. Okay? So that would be all for today. God bless and have a nice night. Be ready. I'll be sending your problem set. For your problem set, all the method or process na ginawa ko, ganun din ang gagawin nyo kung paano ko sinol. Um, pahabong sulat, um, you may have, we use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, we use 10 um, raw operations. But kung sisipagin ko or maganda ang kalalabasan, pwede into 4 operations lang or 3 operations. It's up to you kung gano'n ka magiging lucky sa pag-anap. But don't be afraid kahit na 100 ways pa ang gamitin mo, as long as magiging identity matrix siya, tama siya, and applying the raw operations. God bless.